give a review on It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover. to a new vlog. I'm very excited to take you along for the next few days. It is currently Thursday and I tried to start this vlog yesterday, but my camera like flip up screen's been a little screwed up, but Ethan fixed it because he's an angel and now I can film, thank the Lord. But it is currently 9.43 and this morning Ethan wanted to work a little later, so we went and got some coffee. Very excited about it. Then he went to work and now I'm getting ready to film. I also am doing laundry, that kind of stuff, but I'm about to film my May reset routine. I'm very excited. I wasn't gonna do one for the month of May, but then I was like, I actually have a lot I wanna talk about, so that's what I'm doing. I also am hoping that we are gonna be able to make some bread in this video. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I have a sourdough starter, and I've been trying to make bread, but my tooth situation happened, then my dough was a little sticky, so I was gonna try again, and my starter isn't floating for some reason. Usually they say that it will double and it'll be bubbly when it's ready to make bread, and mine is doing that, but it's not floating, so we shall see if we make bread in this vlog. And then tonight we are going to my parents' house. We are back to the normal at-home vlog, the normal life since we just got back from our trip if you didn't see my last video it was well one of my last videos was our Franklin weekend vlog and I loved it so much it's one of my favorite videos I've ever made so I'll link it below such a fun trip but now we are getting back into the groove of getting stuff done also I am wearing this dress that I thrifted and my new white button-up that I got at H&M this weekend so cute just want to enter the vlog before I start filming just say hello I'm so happy that you're here I've gained quite a few subscribers in the past few weeks from my weekly vlog talking about my root canal. It got a lot of views. I don't know why. It's super random, but it has almost a thousand views, which thank you so much. That's so sweet and awesome. I don't really understand it in my brain thinking that many people watching the video, but I've gained a few subscribers from that. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If you want to know a little bit about me, I'm 23. I live in Alabama with my husband and our two dogs. I do social media for a local business. I also do photography. I do YouTube like as a hobby, but I love it so much. I post every Tuesday and Saturday unless there's something going on. I post faith and lifestyle content. Pretty slow, normal life. I vlog recipes and stuff like that. I'm currently going on a sourdough journey. Just the normal, slow life here in Alabama. So if you are new, thank you for being here. I'm so happy that you subscribed. It means the world. Let's get to getting stuff done. I'm gonna film this video. I will also link the video below because my May reset routine will be up by the time this video is up. So I'll link it below if you're interested in watching. with you it's been a very productive day i filmed my video got a lot of editing done finished the laundry i did a bunch of editing outside because it's such a beautiful day it's literally 77 degrees and it's beautiful outside they're also doing the roof on my neighbor's house so rosie and lily were very interested in watching that go down we spent probably like an hour and a half outside getting my editing done and just relaxing, enjoying the weather. But I wanted to show you a little library book haul because I went to the library yesterday because I'm trying to get out of my book slump. If you watch my vlogs, you know, or maybe not, I've been in a book slump for about two months. I don't think I've actually finished a book since February, so that's where we're at. But I wanted to go to the library in hopes that I will find a good book to get me out of my book slump. So I thought I would show you what I got. I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't find anything because I was like looking around in the new releases section and literally found nothing that I recognized. But then I perused around and I found some. So we got four books. The first one I was actually reading on my Kindle, like the sample a little bit because my friend Sophie recommended it in her recent book video and it's The Perfect Couple by Elan Hildebrand. And it looks quite massive because it was in the large print. 
section. I was just perusing around. I went to the romance section and then I was like, I'm just going to go to this random section just for fun. And I recognized Elin Hildebrand, the author, and then I saw The Perfect Couple. So I was like, I really want to read this. And I was talking to Sophie and I was going to read one of the books she recommended and I was going to read a different one, but she was like, I think you would like this one more because I told her the only book I had read was The Last Thing You Told Me. That's the only thriller book I've read. And this is a thriller. So basically what it's about is this wedding is going on in Nantucket and someone shows up dead and basically they're trying to figure out who did it and I guess throughout the book you just figure out they're interviewing everyone seeing who did it so I'm very intrigued to see how it is I'm not much of a thriller gal but I loved the last thing he told me it was so good I read it literally in like one sitting so love that book and I wanted something that's kind of the same vibe in the sense of it's not too scary because so many thrillers or like psychological thrillers are like really graphic and I'm just not here for that <laughs> it's just not my vibe you know so I'm excited to read this one next is God Bless this mess by hannah brown if you don't know hannah brown was on the bachelor and she was also the bachelorette but she came out with a book i'm assuming it's like a memoir about her life and i saw it and i recognized it and wanted to read it i also saw made for this moment by maddie pruitt i have read that book i own that book and it's really good but i thought i would give this a shot see how it is i love reading memoirs i think it just came out pretty recently so excited to read that next is find your people by jenny allen i've never heard of this book i've never seen it before but i've read get out of your head by Jenny Allen and I really loved it. So I'm excited about this. I'm assuming it is a Christian based book because that's what Get Out of Your Head is. It says building deep community in a lonely world. All too often we're tempted to do life alone whether because we're so busy or because relationships feel risky and hard. But science confirms that consistent and meaningful connection with others is crucial to our mental and spiritual health. We are meant to live known and loved, and yet so many of us are hiding behind emotional walls that we're experiencing an epidemic of loneliness. Find Your People offers practical solutions for creating true community in a world that's both more connected and more isolating than ever before. So it sounds very good, and the cover is just really cute. Like, I'm a big fan. And lastly, I got If It's Perfect by Summer Dowell. I've never seen this book before, but the cover really intrigued me. I think it's cute. It says it's a romantic comedy, and it's very short. It's like 180 pages, which I like. A nice short book. On the back, it says success-driven Hope Fletcher has some lofty goals for her life, but is it really too much to want a thriving cake design business by age 29, marry a perfect man by age 30, then have the kids, dog, and a house in suburbia by age 34? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Dean, wonderful dreamy Dean who loves kids and will eventually grow to love dogs, steps into Hope's world. He's the exact type of man she's been looking for and she starts falling hard. But will Hope's perfect image of Dean crumble when she finds out about his past? So it sounds very interesting. I'm excited to see how this is. And I feel like this is like not too intimidating to start with because it's pretty short. The words are pretty small, but it's a pretty short book. And that is my book haul. I hope you enjoyed. I'm hoping that I get to reading some of them in the month of May, but it is currently 3.30 and I need to vacuum and shower. And then we are going to my parents' house tonight. I also need to feed my sourdough starter. I've yet to do that today. to you all day but it is currently 12 15 and i've been editing a good bit this morning and i'm currently getting my video up for tomorrow and i decided to clean out our pantry and like our cabinets and stuff and just like organize it so i did that and then finished our walmart order because we do walmart pickup on saturdays and i think i'm about to make some chicken like popcorn chicken in the oven for lunch i haven't done this in a long time and it's pretty yummy also yesterday i filmed it but i fed my starter and then i made 11 is what it's called so basically you take some of your unfed starter put it in a jar and put water and flour in it and let it rise and that's what you're supposed to use to make your bread the last time i did it i just used my starter but you're supposed to use like 11 in order to make the bread but my leaven it didn't rise like it didn't double or do anything so my friend seems to think that it's too cold in my house but my starter did rise like it doubled it bubbled and it still doesn't float in water so google says it still could work possibly that if it's doubled if it's bubbling like maybe it's just not floating but it did float last time so i'm just a little confused 
And I don't know why my leaven hasn't like risen. Maybe it just needs more time. So I'm kind of just waiting on that. Who knows if I'll actually be able to make bread. I feel like I always do this. I'm like, I'm gonna vlog and I'm gonna make bread and then it just doesn't happen. We shall see if it does, if we'll be able to this weekend or something. It's just been one of those Fridays where you just stay in your comfy clothes, don't get ready and just get a bunch of stuff done on the couch. That's what I've been doing. But it's such a beautiful day. It's like in the eighties or it's gonna be. It's currently 79, so pretty toasty outside. And it's just gonna be a beautiful weekend, which is great. Oh my goodness, also very exciting news. I've had It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover on hold on the Libby app. If you don't know what the Libby app is, it's basically an app where you can rent eBooks from your local library. And so I've had It Ends With Us on hold for months and it's finally saying I can borrow it. So I guess I'm like next in line. So I borrowed it and I'm very excited. I just started one of the books that I borrowed from the library last night, but I might have to start It Ends With Us because I'm so excited. So it's been a minute since I've talked to you. The last clip you saw was me talking about how my library had It Ends With Us on Kindle. And that's kind of ironic because I borrowed the book and finished it in a day. I just didn't vlog this weekend. There was just nothing really, I feel like to vlog, we just had like church stuff, family stuff. I wanted to give a review on It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover because it's just so funny that the last clip you saw was me talking about it. And now I finished it. I have a lot of thoughts and I wanted to just add it to this vlog because I've already filmed my April reset routine. And I talked about in that one that I hadn't finished a book in April. And it's just kind of funny that I literally finished a book the last two days of April. And I'm just very excited to be getting out of my book slump. I feel like this vlog has become like a getting out of a book slump vlog. So I'm very happy about that. I ended up not being able to make bread when I was filming this vlog because my starter didn't rise. But my starter did rise yesterday. And a sneak peek into my next vlog is I'm baking bread right now. And it will be in my next vlog. It probably won't be up for like a week because I'm filming all week. You'll see it very soon. But... I wanted to end this vlog with a review on It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover. It's such a popular book. Literally you see it everywhere, TikTok, Instagram. Like people that aren't readers will get It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover because it's so popular. It's talked about all over. And honestly, I was very much avoiding reading this book because I had heard of the trigger warnings, the sensitive subjects, and I was like, I don't really wanna read that. That's not kind of a thing I like to read personally because it's just kind of a lot. But since my library had it for me to borrow because I've been on hold for months and months and it was finally my turn, I was like, I'm gonna borrow it to see how it is. And I actually read maybe the first chapter on like the Kindle, like my sample. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. But I borrowed it from my library, read the book, started it on Friday, finished it on Saturday, and here we go. So if you don't know, if you have not read It Ends With Us, even though it's the most popular book, basically it's about this girl named Lily. She lives in Boston, but she's from Maine. I think she's like 24. Honestly, I thought she was way older, but I think she's only 24. She moved to Boston after college. She just recently went to a funeral for her dad who passed with cancer. And and she meets this guy named Ryle. Basically, she is living her life. You see about her career, what happens with Ryle. And in the meantime of all this happening, she is reading excerpts from her childhood, from a situation that happened, what happened in her childhood, this guy that she knew named Atlas. And then she ends up running into Atlas as an adult. And you just kind of see what happens. I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to like ruin the book, but I do like highly, highly suggest to read trigger warnings, read sensitive subjects because it's very heavy. Like I've read a lot of Colin Hoover's books and I think this is the heaviest one and it's just like a lot. So I highly suggest looking at that because I think some people might be more sensitive to it. Some people might not affect at all, but personally me, it like I just don't personally like reading stuff that happens in this book, but I wanted to give it a shot. And halfway through it, I was like, I don't know how people get through this. I posted on my Instagram story, I was like, I don't know how people get through this book because it's gut-wrenching and it really is like parts of the book are absolutely heartbreaking and just awful really awful situations but by the end i actually loved the book so much i loved atlas he's literally the sweetest guy ever by the end of the book i feel like you really connect with lily and just learn so much about her and hear so much about what she's gone through, her heart, how she's feeling in the situations. And I also think it's such an important story that needs to be told. Like, I feel like so many people in this situation that she's in in this book, they might not realize they're in the situation that they're in until they read this book and they're like, oh, I relate to this girl. I've been in this situation. So I think it's such an important story. And I loved how at the end, Colleen Hoover writes why she wrote the book and kind of situation she's in that relates to the book, which is why she wrote it. And I'm pretty sure she said it's the hardest book she's ever had to write, which I can imagine. Honestly, before I even read the end where she said why she wrote it, I assumed she had gone through something similar because she wrote about it so well. 
she wrote about it in a way that that she knew how the person felt i feel like in this scenario and just really in general people make assumptions about things they judge situations from the outside and really they don't know the situation inside and you read the book and you're like wow like it's crazy how you you're in this situation but you don't realize you're in the situation people from the outside are like looking in and be like what is going on like why is she in this situation but like you don't realize what the person's going through when they're in it and it was just so cool to read kind of the perspective that she has that she's like i didn't expect my life to get to this point i didn't expect for this to happen to me but it did i can't sit here and say i think everyone should read the book because i do think it's very heavy like it's a very heavy book with trigger warning sensitive subjects and i do suggest reading that highly before starting the book that would be my recommendation like i think it's such a good book and you should read it but preface that with saying read the trigger warnings read the sensitive subjects but i think it's a story that needs to be told and i just love the way colleen did it because i feel like in these situations you think it's like just black and white but from lily's perspective in the book you just read about it and how it's like it's not black and white it's not that simple and i just thought it was so good i gave it five stars because i loved it a lot like by the end i literally cried i loved the moments with her and her mom and i loved the end i'm so excited because if you didn't know there's a sequel to this book coming out in october called it starts with us and i am so excited i think that book is going to be so good and i don't think it's going to be as heavy as this one but i'm excited to see kind of what she does with it because colleen hoover is not known for super happy romances so i'm curious to see if something happens in that book, how it goes. I'm just curious to see, but very excited about that. That's my thoughts on It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. If you're wanting a book that is going to make you happy, this book probably isn't for you. I think because so many of these situations actually happen, it's like you feel like it's a real story. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up about it. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog, kind of like a reading vlog. That wasn't intentional, but I did a book haul and then I read It Ends With Us, so. That's kind of just what the vlog ended up being, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I post Tuesday and Saturday every week, and I would love for you to stick around. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post a ton of stuff over there, stories, in feed, all that kind of stuff. But I think that's it, so I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.